Hello and welcome back to Leah Loves Yarn. Um, today I'm going to show you a different way to actually join um, these. This is a, a separate way as um, the way I showed you before. So this is a more connected version of this. So what I do is um, I take the the two good sides, because there's a right side and there's a wrong side. And I pair them up, and I'm going to go through the pico right here on each. They're going to be back, back to back. So I've got the wrong sides facing each other. So I've got the, my yarn is through the, or my crochet hook is through the picots of both of those. And I'm going to pull the yarn through and I'm going to tie it. I like to tie it because I'm going to bury that thread anyway. So what I do is I push it through the pico, bring a loop up, oops, and I'm going to do a single crochet in each one of these. We're going to join these two together all the way down. So grabbing the wrong thread. This one we're going to bury. So this is slightly difficult, challenging, because you've got to see where each thing is. So it's through the Pico right now. This is the first one that we're going to go through. Then you got to find that same one on the second one, which is right here. You're going to pull up a loop and single crochet. Then you find this one then you find the second one here. Pull up a loop. And then the third one is right there on this one. Then on this one, it's right there. And we go down to the last one and that one. So I've got four, I guess four or five. Now what I do in the center part of this gap is I just do four uh, single crochets right through here. One, just through that space. Just makes it kind of easy and simple. Four. Then we come to this little part right here. So I'm going to go through the first one right there. I guess I can go through that one or that one. I should have gotten contrasting color. I'm doing white on white, and then through that one right there. And I do a single crochet. I should have made this a, <laughs> a different background. One, two, three, four. Then I find the first one. Right there. Gee, where's my finger? And then I find this one here. And I go through there. Sorry, it's not tight. And I do a single, oops, single crochet. And then I go through the next one, which is right here. Okay. Then I find the next one over here. And do single crochet. I wish there was a piece of black paper near. Let me just contrast it really quick on that one. And we pull it through, single crochet. And then we go through that one for the first square, and then that one for the second. See, I got them there. Pull through both of them. And then we're back to another pico. So we're going to go through the center of that pico of the first one. Then we go to the center of the one behind it. And then that is it. So I have now joined those. There's threads here, but I've now joined those in a different way. Let's see. And it's all the way through and through. So there's no gaps. The other one I didn't really like because it was gappy. And I thought, if this is a blanket, it's going to get snagged or something. So, 
So this is what it looks like um, when I have connected them all together. I'm trying to back up so I can show you a bit of what what I've done. Um, obviously, this is just a section. I don't know how many this is going to, you know, but they co connect really nicely. It's just kind of a um, a nice and tight connection. So this is kind of what I've done here. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to finish it. I'm going to have a lot of stragglers as I, as I connect each one. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how pretty this looks.